I would like to ask you then to take now your decree books so we may invoke the golden pink glow ray. It is in the white pages following the pink section, decree 40.04. I'd like everyone to share so that everyone can see this decree. Now the foundation of all transmutation and alchemy of the sacred fire is the violet flame, the very beginning of Jesus' mission. The marriage feast in Cana, the changing of the water into wine, signifies the purpose of the Piscean avatar. Jesus, the incarnation of the living word, he comes to change the watered-down human consciousness back to the wine of its spiritual integrity. He comes to accelerate and increase and to intensify and transfer the mighty threefold flame. So the foundation for the restoration of the divine memory of our descent is in this alchemy of the sacred fire called the violet flame. Upon this we build, and therefore as a foundation to this golden pink glow ray, or any work or meditation you do in the privacy of your own chamber, won't you give the simple mantra of affirmation of the violet flame? It is a spiritual ablution which also prepares your bodies for my healing invocations for you this evening. So we say, God in me is a being of violet fire. God in me is the purity God desires. And that is the translation of the affirmation. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. God in me is the name of God. I am is the key that unlocks the sacred fire of your causal body. The great spheres of light, the violet flame within that sphere must descend. And because for many thousands of years we have misused that light in ignorance or otherwise, it is locked and sealed in the higher light until we prove ourselves responsible for its constructive use. And so it is through the nexus of the Holy Christ Self, the mediator, the universal light, the central figure that you see in the chart, that the I Am Presence releases for your use that violet flame. This is the great dispensation of Aquarius, and this is built upon the foundation of the mission of Jesus Christ. The teaching of the violet flame comes from the heart of the Master Saint Germain, whose portrait is to my left. He was embodied as Saint Joseph and used the science and the alchemy of that flame in the protection of Jesus. Let us affirm this now, knowing that when we say I am in reverence for the name of God, what is affirmed does manifest. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. Now that little mantra engages your free will. You are free to invoke in the name of God his light for the fulfillment of his holy purpose where you are. The crystal clear stream of the water of river of life descends over the crystal cord from your I am presence, nourishing all of your bodies, sustaining your life and soul in its ministry. So therefore you may take the mantra the dynamic decree using the name of God and qualify that crystal clear light with any one of the seven rays or the five secret rays. God in you and Christ in you, the true Son is a co-creator with Elohim. And so in this co-creative act, we join 
Almighty God and the forces of heaven, in recreating ourselves after the divine image and likeness of that Christ in whose image we are all made. This is the option we have as joint heirs with Jesus on this path of initiation, the option to be reformed and reformed again in that person, Christ Jesus, who gave his life that we might live to follow his example. I'd like to take another example of that violet flame and let you really feel its effect. I am the violet flame. The principle is the same. God in me is the violet flame in action in me now. It's an affirmation. It's the law of the divine geometry that says things equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Where I am, God is, because there is no time and space. I dwell in the eternal now, and therefore his kingdom, as Jesus said, is within me. I am that kingdom here and now, and I am affirming that that kingdom, as a mighty aura of the Holy Spirit, is the violet flame where I am. And I know that the violet flame is the agency of the Holy Spirit, the all-consuming fire, to deliver me from sin, disease, and death, every addiction, every burden, every problem of my life. The violet flame will deliver you from the cause and core of the conditions of karma that are experienced by you as effect in this age. Let us give it now together. I am the violet flame in action in me now. I am the violet flame to light alone I bow. I am the violet flame in mighty cosmic power. I am the light of God shining every hour. I am the violet flame blazing like a sun. I am God's sacred power freeing everyone. I am the violet flame in action in me now. I am the violet flame to light alone I bow. I am the violet flame in mighty cosmic power. I am the light of God shining every hour. I am the violet flame blazing like the sun. I am God's sacred power freeing everyone. I am the violet flame in action in me now. I am the violet flame to light alone I bow. I am the violet flame in mighty cosmic power. I am the light of God shining every hour. I am the violet flame blazing like the sun. I am God's sacred power freeing everyone. I am the violet flame in action in me now. I am the violet flame to light alone I bow. I am the violet flame in mighty cosmic power. I am the light of God shining every hour. I am the violet flame blazing like the sun. I am God's sacred power freeing everyone. Now you visualize your aura clearly as a violet light, violet flame surrounding you now. It is an intense action of the Holy Spirit, God's love for you. It is mercy, it is freedom, it is the alchemy of change. It is contact with the Holy Ghost. It is the beginning of the totality of healing. And I say the totality of healing because we need healing in all of our vehicles. Those coats of skins we gained, according to Genesis, the four lower bodies, the memory, the mind, the emotions, and the physical envelope. We need healing in the heart, the soul, the mind. We need to purify our hearts from fear and records of death and wrong desire. The violet flame is the Holy Spirit that sweeps through in answer to our call. Remember the words of Moses, our God is a consuming fire, and this is the all-consuming violet flame of God. We celebrate it at Easter because it is Jesus' gift to us on Good Friday. It is truly the essence of his very blood, shed for the remission of sins. It is the violet flame that is the remission of sin, the transmutation of karma in the Aquarian Age parlance. And so we see there is transcendence in this hour. There is acceleration. We are moving with the wind in our sails from Pisces to Aquarius. We understand that there is the new language of the spirit and we attend the everlasting gospel and the true mysteries revealed to us with the sounding of the seventh angel. Now we're going to call for the gold and pink glow rain now that we have given this ablution of the violet flame. Understand that those names given in the preamble are the names of saints and ascended masters, some of whom you may never have heard of. 
this should not pose a problem since many of us here have never been heard of by others upon the face of the earth. <laughs> others of us may have become notorious of late, but whatever the condition may be, <laughs> I would like you to know that the name Meru, Serapis Bey, Gautama, the seven holy Kumaras, and so forth, come down to us from an ancient tradition out of India, out of the Far East. And these names even antedate the past 5,000 years. They go back to Lemuria and Atlantis. You see, if the resurrection is true, if the Son of God is and before Abraham was, I am, he has existed from the beginning, from our going forth out from the heart of God and the great central sun, the divine plan for the descent, the victory, the God mastery, and the return in the ascension to God has been intact. It did not suddenly spring 2,000 years ago. We are many millions of years old in our souls, and so is Jesus, as he said, before Abraham was, I am the universal Christ. And so you are, and so is that universal stream, the law of the one which makes us one. And Jesus said, even so, Father, make them one, even as we are one. And so it is out of the law of the one. And because the path has ever been, Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And Elijah ascended. And before the records of Genesis, there are those who ascended to God. Thus you understand the very ancient of ancient Hindu traditions whence these names come. We call to these beings of light because they have volunteered as the saints of God to help us. They are our elder brothers and sisters. They are manifestations of God. We revere and honor them, but we worship only the one God. And we understand that one God, that one universal light, to be in all of his sons and daughters. And therefore, I can bow to the light within you as I do, knowing full well that I am bowing to the Almighty One who is everywhere and with us. We share a common light. Thus our sponsors have said, if you give the call to our names, we will deliver the momentum of our causal body, our I am presence to you in these specific decrees. And so they are our helpers. And so we understand that unless invited, they are forbidden by cosmic law to intercede in our behalf. This is why we give the invocation and the preamble before the decree. Let us say it together. In the name of the beloved, mighty, victorious presence of God, I am in thee, and my very own beloved, holy Christ self, I call to the heart of beloved Serapis Bay and the Brotherhood at Luxor, beloved Lord Gautama, beloved Saint Germain, beloved God and Goddess Meru, beloved Sanat Kumara and the Holy Kumaras, the cosmic being Harmony, the seven mighty Elohim, the seven beloved Archangels and their Archaei, the seven beloved Chohans of the Rays, beloved Lanello, the entire spirit of the Great White Brotherhood and the World Mother, elemental life, fire, air, water, and earth. I am calling today for thy golden pink ray to manifest round my form. Golden pink light, dazzling bright, my four lower bodies adorn. O brotherhood at Luxor and bless Serapis Bay, hear our call and answer by love's ascending ray. Charge, charge, charge our being with essence pure and bright. Let thy hallowed radiance of ascension's mighty light Blaze its dazzling light rays upward in God's name Till all of heaven claims us for God's ascending flame Saturate me with golden pink light Make my four lower bodies bright Saturate me with ascension's ray Raise my four lower bodies today O brotherhood at Luxor and bless Serapis Bay Hear our call and answer by love's ascending ray Charge, charge, charge our being with essence pure and bright let thy hallowed radiance of ascension's mighty light blaze its dazzling light rays upward in God's name till all of heaven claims us for God's ascending flame. 
Surround us now with gold and pink love, illumined and charged with light from above. Absorbing this with lightning speed, I am fully charged with victories me. O brotherhood at Luxor and lesser at this bay, hear our call and answer by love's ascending ray. Charge, charge, charge our being with essence pure and bright. Let thy hallowed radiance of ascension's mighty light blaze its dazzling light rays upward in God's name. Till all of heaven flames us for God's ascending flame. We're going to sing it now. I'm going to give you a visualization for your heart as you sing. Please close your eyes and center your attention in the center of your chest cavity and visualize the blazing sun. This is your own central sun of light. Every being in cosmos and cosmos itself must have a central sun, an integrating sacred fire, even the vortex of the fire enfolding itself. And so this enfolding fire draws unto itself the components of identity. By this central sun, you declare, I am who I am. You understand your identity in God as a flaming spirit. Here in this central sun of being is the mighty threefold flame of power, wisdom, and love of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By the authority of this threefold flame, you then are the issue of God. It is your divine spark. You may then fan its fires by the call to the sacred fire breath. You may expand its light and call for that light to be qualified as we now do. In the name of Archangel Uriel, mighty Archangel of the sixth ray, I call forth the golden pink glow ray from the heart of Jesus Christ, from the heart of Mother Mary and Saint Germain and all the saints in heaven. I call forth the golden pink glow ray into our hearts, blaze forth from our heart centers now, blaze forth from the heart chakra, blaze forth the light of Helios and Vesta, the power of the second and third ray, as the gold and the pink intertwining as the mighty caduceus action of the sacred fire. Blaze now the full power of the golden pink glow ray into these temples of being. Beloved mighty archangel Uriel, beloved Elohim, peace and aloha, come forth now with the legions of Jesus Christ. To prepare these body temples, heart and soul and mind, prepare these souls of light for healing in this hour and for the anointing by the oil of spikenard. In the name of the living word, we sing to thee, O God.
commanded the light to flow. Let us welcome the light and give gratitude to the light as we give the hymn to the son of beloved Helios. Together. O mighty presence of God, I am in and behind the sun. I welcome thy life, which floods all the earth, into my life, into my mind, into my spirit, into my soul. Radiate and blaze with thy light. Break the bonds of darkness and superstition. Charge me with a great clearness of thy white fire radiance. I am thy child, and each day I shall become more of thy manifestation. Let us give it together again. O mighty presence of God, I am in and behind the sun. I welcome thy light, which floods all the earth, into my life, into my mind, into my spirit, into my soul. Radiate and blaze forth thy light, break the bonds of darkness and superstition. Charge me with a great clearness of thy white fire radiance. I am thy child, and each day I shall become more of thy manifestation. O mighty presence of God, I am in and behind the sun. I welcome thy light which floods all the earth into my life, into my mind, into my spirit, into my soul. Radiate and blaze forth thy light. Break the bonds of darkness and superstition. Charge me with a great clearness of thy white fire radiance. I am thy child, and each day I shall become more of thy manifestation. Giving to you the science of the spoken word and these decrees, we give to you the power and the understanding to heal yourself. This is the great message of Jesus Christ in this hour, that we be found whole through the pursuit of the Divine One. Your affirmations are being given in preparation for your requests for healing. You are in fact healing yourself in this very moment as you give these decrees. And so you take these decrees with you. You study the book of the science of the spoken word. You offer your heartfelt devotions and prayers to God through these worded formulas. It is a means of communication and contact and the drawing down of light into every cell and atom of your body. I am grateful that God has given to us in this hour through his Holy Spirit and saints the means to overcome the burdens that we find upon earth of pollution and war and diseases and plague and death and fear and psychological burdens. And I am grateful that God answers our call and delivers those on the very edge of death and hell from the toils of the fallen ones. This is our experience and our joy as we assemble together together. 